guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! Happy you're ha back here. I hope this is uh, a pretty cool segment that I want to do because I think this is good to do for the subscribers. We're going to call this Member, member Monday. And uh, Monday, member, member Monday for all the subscribers and the channel members. We're going to try to reply to them. Actually, we're going to do that first. Let's do, let's give a shout out to the... Uh, uh membership channels uh let me see here all right so we're gonna start off here with a lot of the channel members so frosty the ice man i've got a soft spot for tectin laser uh cutting was a fail in my opinion while featureless f featureless their taiwan forge combination wrenches were good mine have held up and in, in, in wet nasty environment i think the intentions were good just didn't turn out well. And I think I've said this before, and that's how I'm not, that he's commenting on my Capri short. Uh, that's why I like the Capri angle wrenches, because they're forged and the Tectons are laser cut. So, uh, Frosty's got another uh, comment about the Harbor Freight 36-inch uh, Zuma. Turns out less, I lost 4 inches, usable length, the biggest gripe is the 3 drawers. Uh, it's heavy duty compared to the 44 looking good. I definitely have done better Getting rid of it as I never got my money back out of I'm saving bread for one of those MTS 52 inch workstations Cool. We got Larry Croft CP the Godfather and Scout Crafter Scout Crafter is another channel if you guys haven't checked him out check him out uh, Of tool restoration us tools expert and historian that follows the channel frequently comments speaks volumes of your channel Legitimate tool people are part of your channel. Well done. Yeah, Scout Crafter is a absolute awesome guy. Uh, Smoke Blower, what happened last week? No show. I did have a show last week. Just canceled this Friday. I uh, asked him to shoot an email to me. Two of my best friends in the world, Larry Croft. Thank you. Uh, Larry Borgstrom, send it to a giveaway uh, to a southern friend, Norco GB40. Yeah. It uh, doesn't belong north of the Mason-Dixon line. Nice meter. I keep a Klein backup. Fluke 325. Do you need to measure DC amps? Yes, that is a DC amp. That was a, that was a big question about my last tool haul was the DC amps there. So Frosty has a lot. Dave Osborne, about 18 months ago, I pur purchased a 3 drawer Craftsman 2000 to install on the bottom of my tool cart. It's a darn good box. I got what I paid for at Lowe's. These soft closed drawers, soft closed drawers are nice, not perfect, but for the price, I'm extremely pleased. Dave uh, really likes his Craftsman S2000 series. Larry Borgstrom, I, I have a Craftsman. I would rather have a Craftsman over a China General from Harbor Freight. Wouldn't be embarrassing to have a Craftsman boss get a second chance, to make for first impression. Yes. Uh, Dudes with wrenches, that switch make things a lot better. Major issue with Milwaukee is exactly the pain to change direction. There you go. Uh, Peter Savinsky, JD Tico beats all the prices plus faster shipping and great service. We got one, two, three, Dom Master, Autel on, on the cornrow trucks are cheaper. Uh, Dave, inside the rear cover of the catalog states on uh, the fine print, all qualifying purchase automatically entered in the heart. <laughs> uh, we probably shouldn't talk about that too much. I don't want to get too crazy on that just glanced look uh we got larry borgstrom dave Os osborne let's look at another channel member here nick hildebrandt very cool and congratulations thank you uh, i believe he was commenting on the capri article that was put into the catalog ag tech 45 another great channel member great to see that appreciate cp they letting me know that they ship to canada capri does so that's cool more larry craw uh jason lacrue it must be a new channel member. Looking forward to make purchases as soon as I finish the video. Oh, he was another uh, Canadian subscriber. So, and then uh, AgTech actually helped him out. So, that's the cool thing about this stuff is, is those guys are helping each other out. We got Quick Wrench. Also, CP is correct. All semi-deep. Some of the most useful sockets. Uh, agree with you, CP. Uh, Calvin Roberts. Dude, you're on the front page, page of the website to say that they wrote the article about you as being extremely modest. Nice. Nicely done. Thank you, uh, Calvin. Uh, let's see here. Quick Wrench. I would like another live stream. Bus Racing is awesome. Peter Savinsky. Nick Hildebrand. Smoke Machine option. What are you looking to spend? Uh, I never did hear back from Nick on that one. Uh, Dave Osborne. One, two, three, Dom Master. That's pretty much all of them. Let's go into some of the comments from the uh normal uh commenters 
Uh, of course, we got a salty person right here on front. Seth Kane was uh, making a point here, just speaking gibberish. And actually, I just wanted to see how many whiners would come up. Of course, Nick Malone uh, corrected his grammar. Uh, Henry was such a good boy. What kind of dog he is? Uh, whoops. Let's delete that. That was the wrong question there. Henry is actually a Bojack. Uh, w H. Let's answer that. He's a bojack which is a boston terrier and a jack russell mix for you those of you guys that are uh curious it is kind of nice to uh answer these questions via um the video here for you guys uh what would you sub suggest for an obd1 i would get an, a snap on mt2500 on ebay all day long if you can find them, any getting any used MT2500, which if you guys don't know, that's the old Snap-on brick. Uh, does the amp clanner have DC volts? Yes, I actually stated that in the video at the very beginning of the deal. Uh, it's AC-DC bolt meter. Nice meter, I keep a climb from Frosty. Does Foxwell NT809 do bi-directional EVAP functions? Like, can it turn off purge solenoids? Read fuel price to fuel pressure tank yes it can um i will be making a, a more in-depth video on the mt on the foxwell it's a uh, 469 very comparable to the altel um 809 i believe it is the smaller model so yeah it's a very nice deal will the car uh will the amp start for starter test yes we'll get into that later trust me there's going to be more onto it that, that video was not in depth uh, what's a good 24 and a half inch ratchet to buy? My personal favorite half inch 24 inch ratchet would be a snap on. Uh, I think they're absolutely hands down the tits for doing that. Homak or Montezuma. I didn't get into that in that video because I didn't have enough time. Uh, he just. Is this trickery? Most. Oh, here's, here's another thing that I run into is this. Uh, people that make comments just out of pure stupidity. Is, is this trickery? Most of Mac tools are Taiwan or China. Same as Matco. Snap-on at least. All hand tools are made in the USA. Everything else is made in China. That's actually false. Um, and I replied, wrong. You clearly do, don't do research well. Mac tools has uh, a pretty big majority of their hand tool line is made in America. Uh, in fact, in Dallas, Texas is some of them. Actually, some of them are made elsewhere. Elsewhere, they were making screwdrivers, but until recently, they moved those over to France, I believe now. Um, but they were in South Carolina getting made. Any word on the metric ratcheting wrench set? Uh, I haven't seen a full set of 10 millimeter. Yeah, I have, I'm looking into that still. Uh, Leonard Skinner 87. Um, uh, definitely be trying to figure out something on that. Do you want service warranty break time for your favorite tool dealers and air condition? truck checking out the new tools and i am not a big i am not a big tool truck hanger outer i will tell you that i don't i usually come into the tool truck knowing what i want maybe back in the day i was uh because i didn't know what i wanted and it was just kind of overwhelming to look on the tool truck but now anymore i pretty much know what i want <laughs> francis electric says Do you, does this channel have a 12-step program i'm starting to buy back tools and backup tools. Yes, join the membership. And and you clearly can join the membership and get a little bit more in depth. And I will be trying to get more stuff going out for the membership. And if you don't know, the membership is uh, $2.99, one simple fee. I don't have hats. I don't have t-shirts yet, but those are coming. And uh, eventually what I'm going to plan on doing is having a membership uh, with a little bit of some, some more perks with it. And we'll do some stuff there. But uh, is there any chances these Canadian prices... Uh, it looks identical to our G... Uh, no, I answered that. That is actually U.S. pricing on that. Where do I find a discount code? I'm sure it'll come in uh, handy. Uh, I did put that in the description. Uh, what's your thoughts on Tang Tools? Uh, they're okay. Nothing great. They're kind of like Boxo and uh, some of the other brands that are like that. They're more of a kind of an industrial um, over-the-counter brand. I would say most of the lap. Uh, Christopher Shepard, thank you for that question. Is the switch really sensitive? Nick Hauser says, is the switch really sensitive? Talking about the Matco flathead ratchet. Uh, doing recalls on Subaru, the switch actually flipped to tighten while I ratcheted a bolt off. If I was to use this... No, I don't really have any problems with the flip being... Sent, uh, it's the same as my Mac one. 
I have a flathead air one, and they've all, they they're I've never had problems with them. Uh, asking me about a snap-on dealer harassing me. I had a snap-on dealer that's been harassing me for a while now, and uh, I took it up with snap-on corporate. Uh, Dale Bennett asked, "What do you think of Tekton Impact Socket for DIY?" Uh, my now my old opinion about Tekton sockets were is that they were very thick, and I didn't like them. Uh, because I had a couple spots where they got dread troubles getting them in there. And uh, that's now they've got new ones, so it's kind of a different story. Uh, Paul Mendedal, where uh, Paul Mendedal, where can I get a set of them 3H drive SA three H drive deep SAE? I can't find them anywhere. <laughs> okay, so Koken has uh, he's talking about the Koken nut grip sockets, which are absolutely fantastic. So we found him uh a set i believe no sae deep yet in three eighths i think that's what he was looking for yeah deep uh i saw them and i was looking for the standard so yeah i i answered his question eventually uh figured out what he was looking for it's really hard to answer questions on these things guys so it's kind of nice uh you know when i get time uh see the strike cap yeah i didn't understand that question at all trailer racing is such great you ever watch UK Banger Racing? Not much shocks me there, but holy shit. Them crashes are attempted murder. <laughs> uh, how long have you been using the Top Don Jump Pack? I'm wondering how long it'll hold up. Hopefully, uh, So far, about three months. Better than 30 days. But that Jump Pack will actually be going to a different guy, and he'll be able to, well, he'll be able to test it even further. I'm giving it to another uh, subscriber. I tried to warn you about the old snappy. Jimmy making it work says... Uh, Pay the man. I always pay the man. That's not the problem. Uh, this is the kind of crap that I got to deal with from people that just come up with stupid comments. Um, and we had a little deal. Uh, we were just—he was just trying to mess with me. I think. Uh, Andy's toolbox or Cornwell fine tooth ratchets any good? I noticed. Uh, not a huge fan. I prefer the thirty tooth. Austin Castle, did you get out of the tool business by choice, or are you not making it? Uh, you definitely don't seem like a dealer I would buy from. Uh, which is kind of a... Definitely don't seem like a dealer I buy. I was number three in the country, and yes, I got out of choice. Unfortunately, I was not a fan of corporate policies. Uh, oh, dear God. Why can't we just get along? Yeah, I wish that was that simple, but YouTube creates some of the worst people in the world. I'm telling you. Hey, CP, how did you like the cooking sockets versus the Mac? Uh, I like just the nut grips. I don't have the other ones, but uh, we'll get to that. Hopefully, we'll get to try some later. Uh, BOGO, smoke machine option. Uh, we're not going to talk about that one. Uh, one, two, three, Dom Master. I've been really wanting to get a quarter-inch uh, inch pound torque wrench. I don't have electric. What do you recommend? Um, I didn't get back to that question. I'll have to do that later. Uh, actually, if I was going to get a quarter inch, uh, torque wrench, I'd probably go with the gear wrench if I was looking to save a little bit of money. Otherwise, it's obviously going to be a snap-on, but I don't mind the, uh, ones that I have right now. What is a BOGO? That's a buy one, get one. Uh, that's a lot. Sometimes that question comes up. Uh, yes, I like Cornwells. We got Chris Koss. This guy should be like the Japanese tool... If you guys want to see Japanese tools with all sorts of intense uh, information, Chris Koss is the man. I was thinking about your CP when I learned taking place, and I was talking about the Mountain Dew Tour. It was definitely cool. The adaptive skateboarding people blew my mind watching that. That's all I got to watch that day because I went up to another race. But uh, Who makes the green ratchet holders? Retired mechanic, first time seeing those. That is the uh, Jason Jess. Uh, those are made by uh, Toolganizer. <laughs> I would imagine both lags are pre-drilled. Uh, you're going to be live tonight, Living Country. Paul Mendenhall, I'm with you. 10 millimeter, never lost it. Is there a way to get a hold of you outside? Uh, I gave my message. Mustang. Yeah, so uh, I think this is a pretty good in uh, time to end off on this. There's a lot of questions. Uh, a lot of times go over it. If you guys like this segment, I'll definitely do this more uh, and try to answer more questions frequently. Just something different I wanted to try and uh, give more um, thanks to my people that subscribed. I, and we've had a bunch of new subscribers lately. The channel has been blowing up. If you guys don't know, I had over 300,000 views last month, which is one of the biggest months I've had yet um, on YouTube. So that's pretty awesome. 
and uh, it's been really cool. There's been a lot of good people. I would say it about 75%, 80% of people are good. There's always going to be those questions that you're going to have. I, it's just part of YouTube that I deal with now. Not really something that it's not abnormal because people, there's always going to be those negative people out there. In fact, they hang out in groups on YouTube. Um, they just, you know, they got an opinion about everything. And if it's not their way, it's the highway. Which, you know, it's fine. Uh, I don't care. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm going to try to be more um, helpful in, in areas. But I, I, do like, I do like to pick on the Harbor Freight and Milwaukee fanboys. And uh, people get, they get stirred up about that. And they don't understand that I don't really care what you buy for a tool. Um, is, if it works for you, then that's great uh, at the end of the day. So, anyways, guys, I hope you like this. Remember like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember... Keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.